Well, I'm Matthew. And I'm Ian. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. And not everyone is looking forward to the weekend. I am. Okay then. Nintendo is really switching things up with its new device. Trucks have now entered roads without drivers and there's a completely different car with a completely new setup. Chevrolet has accomplished this. The years 2015 and 2016 are great years for gamers. St stick around and wonder, figure out why in my entertainment report. It may be fall, but will you fall for it when I say it won't be as hot? Stay tuned for my weather report. The Rams got a new stadium. Find out who else got a new stadium in my upcoming sports report. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the break. Okay, let's try something different. Welcome back from the break. Now it's time for the Test Off play-by-play. -play. The Test Off band will be performing at Chino Hills tomorrow. Let's check out the Test Off calendar. Today is a minimum day and music at lunch. Tomorrow, band will be performing at Chino Hills. So that wraps up the week. That's all for the Test Off play-by-play. -play. Now it's time for the action reaction. We're back with more of Zach King's magic trick. Let's check out how Zach King can duplicate money. This is how I double my money. Might be illegal. There's some clothes I don't put in the laundry just because, like this shirt. Where bunnies come from? Yeah. <laughs> Bunny. Huh? So I've got this goldfish here. He's gonna be blue. Now he's green, and now he's white. Cannonballing! Woo! Okay, ready? Okay. Here we go! Ah! Woo! <laughs> That's green! <laughs> wow, that was cool. Did you know that Zach King has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube? That's it for this action reaction. Tune in for Magic Tricks next week, Friday. That concludes the test off play by play. We'll see you after the break. If you're ready, let's go. The Nintendo Switch is the latest Nintendo game console with a 6.2 inch multi-touch capa capa capacitive touchscreen. The screen will support multiple gesture fingers unlike the Wii U and 3DS. It's like a console on the go. You will also be able to play Wii U on 3D and 3DS games on the Switch. The Nintendo Switch any support virtual reality in the future. The brand new Chevy Bolt is coming out in the year 2017. The Chevy Bolt will, will be around $445,000, but it goes 238 miles per charge. It has 200 horsepower and uses lightweight aluminum and smooth progressive proportions, so the strong winds don't hold the car back. This, this car demonstrates great technology. Time to check in with Jace on today's entertainment report. Good morning, Jace. Good morning. This year, 2016 and well, two years technically are great years for gaming. First of all, let's talk about that came out, and we'll talk about one that was kind of disappointing with all the hype. First, we'll talk about that No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky had all the hype of over 16 til quantillion universes in that. 
in total, meaning that it's kind of a bust. Hey guys, look what I got now. So, it was kind of a bust, so that was, that was a little disappointing. It wasn't worth $60. So that was, for the people who bought it, that was a kind of waste of a $60. Well, another game that came out, Overwatch, was a hit, it was success. It's a uh, team-based shooter that resembles to the game Team Fortress 2. Now, the, the game that I, I love, it's the best game ever invented, Battlefield 1. That game was, is just a World War I experience. It shows you what, what it was like in World War I. That's all I can say about it. It's a beautiful game. Well, it's time to check out weather with Jenna. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Jace. And just to add on, I think a movie that wasn't worth the hype was Suicide Squad. Wasn't a good movie, in my opinion. Now it's time to move on to your weather report. <laughs> Starting off in Tokyo, we'll be seeing 51 degrees as a low. Moving more west, we'll be seeing 42 in London. All the way across the map in Anchorage, Alaska, we'll be seeing 28 as a low again, and 60 in LA, and 70 in Rio de Janeiro. Moving on to our highs, we'll be seeing 67 in Tokyo, 49 in London. Moving on again to the other side of the map, we'll be seeing six, er, 34 in Anchorage, um, and then 72 in LA, and 73 in Rio de Janeiro. Time to move on. For I okay, so today's theme for or sorry, this week's theme for social pics will be you with your food. So don't forget to send us pictures of you with your food. Our first picture is Mr. Porter with fried squid on a stick in China. It looks very different from what I normally eat. And it looks tall and spiky. Don't forget to send us your food pics at Ungba Global. Send them to us on Instagram. Now it's time to move on to sports with Jameson. Good morning, Jameson. It is looking pretty amazing. Well, I'm sure that the stadium SunTrust Park for the Atlanta Braves will look amazing. But hey, maybe they could, maybe that new stadium will make them play better, right, Christian? But now for football. The Falcons killed the Buccaneers 40 to 20. Ooh wee, I knew the Bucks would lose, but not that bad. Now for basketball. The Golden State Warriors, Warriors had a player that stood out to me. His name is Kevin Durant. So it must have been hard on, 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 on him for playing home, like Peyton Manning going to Indianapolis to play. But anyways, the Warriors, um, Warriors beat the Thunder. I don't know, but the Thunder's fans probably sometimes hated on Kevin, but that's it for today. Time for the news. How's everybody doing today? Good. 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 So, Alex, who's the guest today? Zamara. Okay, so let's get into some <laughs> news. Hi, Zamara. <laughs> Would you trust a self-driving truck on the freeway? You might have passed it if you made a trip through Colorado in October. Auto, a truck manufacturer, created a self-driving truck that made a delivery, delivery last month on a 120-mile test trip. The truck still needs a driver to be available on the trip who can load and unload the truck. The truck was preceded by two tow trucks who made sure the highway was cleared of parking cars and four patrol cars escorted the truck along its journey for additional safety. The trip ended successfully when the auto truck made its final delivery. That's pretty cool, a self-driving car, but why a self-driving truck? I, self -driving, I think it's only ice because the pros and cons of it is that you still need someone to unload and load, but hopefully in the future they can make that into yeah. even a robot or something. And another well, pro like, is you can actually just sit back and just eat your food. Like oh, yeah. if you and have McDonald's, you can sit back and eat and not have yeah. But like, there are some harms with that, you know, like the truck can malfunction. Oh, and yeah. Can, you know, it can swerve and it can go into different cars and hit others. And that's why at, at the moment we need people to drive it. All right, let's get into the next news. When one man's trash is another man's treasure. The nonprofit organization Wash the Shore has proven that this proverb is true. Garbages such as cans, plastic, boxes, and bags have been tossed away and have become a marine pollution. They are they are being collected by volunteers of the group and made into wonderful art sculptures. 
Quash the Short is founded by artist Angela Hastine Pozazzi in Bandon, Oregon. The organization aims to teach people about environmental conservation. The sculptures made of recycled materials are featured on the exhibit at the Smithsonian National Zoo and at the Georgia Aquarium. It's cool how they are using recycled materials to make statues. I mean, yeah. that's really cool. I don't and know it's saving up the waste. Yeah, it's I wonder how it looks like though. It I know it looks really cool. I wonder what the risk just keeps getting better and better. But yes. well, worse well, and better. Worse and better. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. It's half and half. Yeah. Yeah, but it's cool, and it's a new way to save. True. Right. Yeah. It's just a way to save the environment and community. Yeah. That wraps it up for the news. It's time for today's segment where you show the world what they have. George Gramis is very ill and is in the Hasbro's Children's Hospital. As a way to cheer himself up, he uses a flashlight to entertain himself. Now the city of Providence, Rhode Island, is buying a handing out flashlights to shine to, at his window. The whole city is helping him get through his tough life. Cool. Okay, Alex. Um, fill us in on today's web poll. Hi guys, it's tomorrow with us. Good morning, Samara. Hi. Okay, let's just throw the competition, competition stuff between us. Because we're still friends, right? 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 Keep dreaming. Okay. This week we challenge you with a question. Say this week. Should we replace, ta should we replace tablets with textbooks? Here are the results in the past week's poll. Yes, because the tablets will replace all of our textbooks and end up saving more money than the, than the price of textbooks. Another fan said, no, because we would be completely dependent on batteries or electricity. Our new question is, wait, the results are, you said yes, and a lot of other people said depends for 29%. To vote, to vote business online at umbo.com. Do you think parents should be allowed to homeschool their kids? To vote business online at umbo.com. You can also send us your vote and comment to us on Instagram at umbo global. Leave a comment with us at either place and your message just might make it on the air. So Samara, what do you think? Um, I mean, if the parents don't have enough money to send their kids to, you know, school. But that's why we have public schools. True. They're free, and you can meet some new people. And, like, I met new people. And mm -hmm. I also met people that I've known for a long time. Yeah. And I'm one of those people, right? Right? Uh, no comment. Okay. Uh, now it's time for Matthew um, with the FYI. Like yeah. Alex, so let's do the uh, FYI. So, in which country is it, is it popular to eat snake soup? China, Cambodia, Italy, or Turkey? Take five. Snake soup is a popular delicacy in China. Let's check out what we got through this week with the Unbality Review. Hey guys, welcome back to Unbality. I'm Michael, and this is the second week, and let's check it out. So why do we have to run a 10 minute show today? Well today we had our Japanese visitors watching the show, plus we had a shortened homeroom because of a testing coming up after. So we didn't want to cancel the show because we had visitors watching, so we had to cut it down to 10 to pull it off. So why did Tim Reaper get a hand mic today? Mr. Reaper was given a mic because he's, uh, his uh, regular mic was off. So we noticed that the show froze today. What happened? So um, during the show, um, the lives where we get the videos for the stories and stuff, it wasn't responding. So we had to unplug the USB drive hub. And that's what basically froze the whole system. Um, we didn't know what to do. So we just restarted the computer, went on with it, and Hopefully, carried the show out well to what you guys are watching. I know you like that. We'll check you out for next week for another week of Ungbality. See you there.
that wraps, it for, that wraps it up for the show. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you back here tomorrow, and have a good weekend. Thank you.